Hey there everyone, and welcome to Let's Play In Sound Mind. A game that I can only describe as Alan Wake meets the evil within, plus a kitty. You know, now that I think about it, I basically just described the evil within too. But anyway... Yes, I don't really know much about this game other than what I just told you. It is a psychological horror slash thriller game, though it's apparently not really that scary. I'm not playing it for the horror anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by this game. Let's just get into it. I, I played around in the game a little bit to like test settings and stuff to uh, get the smoothest gameplay. Also, wait a sec. There, I think the recording window was just slightly off. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and play on normal mode. That's a very good question. Oh, I didn't realize there was something I could interact with up there. How do I get up there? I think we probably have to get to there from like a different location or something. I gotta get a flashlight or something before we can go in there. Also, standing in that is bad news. This looks weak. This was as far as I played, by the way. This will come in handy. Oh, we have the managed flashlight battery power. Wow. I could probably break this with something. It is like Alan Wake. But first person. You know, neither the neither Alan Wake or the Evil Within were first person, but. I meant more like setting wise. Oh. Uh. Hello? I. Legit expected something to be behind me when I turned around. Oh, wait a sec. Now I can't open that door. Oh, um, silly me! Now that I got a flashlight, I should go in here.
Okay. Alright, that was flashlight battery. And a hallway key. What kind of building are we in, anyway? So there's like a crafting system then, okay? I wonder if turning the uh, power on affected anything else, like elsewhere. Yeah, there's a ventilation shaft. Like, I saw that before, but... Oh yeah, I bet the ventilation shaft from that other room will lead to that. So how do we... Hold on, let me take another look at this. There's got to be something. Oh my gosh. It's locked. There's a keyhole. Maybe the hallway key opens the door in the hallway. What a shocker, right? At least the elevator broke before we entered it. I need something sharp. Hmm. Universal fuses, huh? So they can be used in anything else, good to know. Yoink! So where's the fuse box? Oh. It's a fuse box. Oh! That was almost a very bad idea. Elevator button. 
button is missing. Uh, hello, who was that? As a kitty. Yeah, there's something messed up about these room numbers. Wait, that looks important. Let's go this way first. This stuff is unnaturally strong. Okay, I wasn't expecting this game to be like Resident Evil levels of uh This you know, this way is blocked. Please go get a thing to make progress. Yes, that 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 was a very accurate way to describe it, I guess. It's my tape player. Worth a try. Nothing. So we work here, I guess. Interesting. Oh, hey, there's a tape. Hmm. No signal. This doesn't work.
Okay, nothing in here, I guess. Let's wait. Uh, I wonder if maybe there was something in the toilet. Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, batteries. It's my tape player. What is happening? Wait, did that just, like, take us to an entirely new location or something? Yeah, that is exactly what it did. Okay, does that not... Oh, wait. In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I'm the one who is losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. But as strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. In an unexpected turn okay. of events, it seems I'm the one who is losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. As strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. Life in Milton Haven has become unfamiliar lately. People are... Well, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors ever since the crash, maybe. It's beginning to make sense, I suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar to those of my patients. Hmm. You know, the only reason I compared this game to Alan Wake was because of uh, a couple of the screenshots I saw kind of look like locations that could be in that game, but this isn't really Alan Wake-like at all. So what is that? Wait, is that a giant tape? My patients were dropping like flies. Dying. Oh, poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand what this is. And the reason I compared it to The Evil Within is because this entire game is actually taking place inside of the main character's mind. Which isn't a spoiler because the, uh, the page of the game straight up says it.
And back in our office, it would seem. <gasps> Kitty! Tanya, how? I mean, hi. I'm having a weird day. Everything okay with you? All right. Good, Kitty. Aww. Did I just earn like an in-game achievement thingy or something? Good kitty. Bloof. Oh, hello. Do you know how a Rorschach test works? I show you an ink blot, and you sneak your way into an interpretation, pretending to fix other people's problems while avoiding your own. <laughs> what nonsense. Well, there's an ink blot, there's a problem. Try and avoid your problems now. Sneak past it. Oh, that does indeed look like a problem. Second floor we go. I mean the first floor. Still wonder who that was that was standing over there. liking the sort of like metroidvania aspect to this though i see there's a lot of different areas that like once we get the ability to like you know get past the tape or break the vents and stuff like there'll be stuff to go back and find Components to make a gun, I see. Oh, so you can find items to, like, upgrade your stats, too. So there's a very light RPG element to it. I like this game! I'm now remembering something I saw in the trailer. Nothing. Hmm.
nothing. Not really a surprise at this point. I need something sharp. What if I stay in bed? What will happen? Let's not find out. Let's go. This is clearly something we're gonna have to come back to later. Well, let's go uh, listen to this tape real quick, and then I think that should be good for the first episode. I know those few karate lessons you took in college gave you the impression that you can fight your way through life with nothing but your bare hands. But reality begs to differ. Arm yourself, Desmond. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Wait a minute. When did this get here? Yes, yes, shoot the barrel and it explodes. I, I had kind of already figured that out, game. Well, okay then. I guess in that case... Next episode, we're gonna go be making ourselves a pistol. See ya, everyone.